It's a great story of citizens having the commitment, uh, the time, the, the financial resources, and the desire to make a beautiful space for learning about the environment for the city. The Ecology Center is the heart of the environmental movement in the city of Evanston. And the idea that it's 40 years old and we're celebrating its anniversary is fascinating to me because Evanstonians were ahead of the curve on concern about the environment. In 56, when some citizens got together and decided that it would be a wonderful tribute to Edward Ladd to develop an arboretum, they worked with the city. They developed private funds that provided for the landscape design, the trees, the shrubs, the plants. This idea of having um, open space and having nature within the city limits was a, was a big focus for the Ecology Center. And then, um, so that same group then established the Evanston Environmental Association, which still exists in the not-for-profit that helps sustain the Ecology Center and its programming. I've been involved with the Environmental Association and with the Eco Center since its inception. Um, the first director was Don Whirling, and he was a man of great vision and he was also really good at energizing people to get involved. So when he had the idea of what the programming could be and was trying to encourage people to contribute to the Eco Center, he did many, many programs that brought people from the community into the uh, activities that we began here. Um, one of the things that we did very well was expand upon our public programs. And the public programs were programs with the schools, um, as well as summer camp programs that um, we developed and expanded over the years. The story of the Ecology Center is actually a great story about a group of concerned citizens coming together and making sure that not only open space in the Land Arboretum was reserved, but that people had a place to come and learn about the, the natural history of the area and um, have an education center that was centered around environmental education and specifically urban environmental education for an area that was so developed like Evanston. The site itself was, its function was education. And so um, how could you have education without a building? You know, this building is a two-part. It was built in the first section first, and then later when it was clear that we needed more opportunities for expansion and more, there was a greater call for a location for having larger groups of people than the EEA board together created this, the energy and raised the funds to put this new, the new addition on. Uh, while it's benefited citizens, it's because of citizens that it's here. This is an example of the people in the city of Evanston uh, doing a wonderful thing for the city. I think the Evanston Ecology Center is very important to the city of Evanston because the Ecology Center is free. You don't have to belong to it in order to come into it. And there is space here for wonderful exhibits and for kids to participate in all kinds of programs. We found that Evanston was a wonderful community with very caring parents who wanted environmental experiences for their children. So as a result, as we thought of more programs for more age groups, um, we found that uh, we increased the number of school programs we did, but, but uh, we really increased the number of children who were involved in our camp programs. Seeing this as a teaching institution for kids in the uh, area was just wonderful because it expanded their vision about what's out here in the natural world. And we do have a lot of urban wildlife here. The Arboretum has been a great source for knowledge about trees and the libraries here at the Ecology Center have also been a wonderful resource. There are different aspects of what's offered here that's appealing. The fact that the center is very diverse in its offerings, I think really helps to um, give people a place where um, they can have an experience. All of my sons have gone to camp here. Two of them have played roles as counselors. It's been a tremendous experience for them. 
Um, I think one of the biggest attractions for kids here is the critters. Um, we, we could say animals, but somehow critters just works here. I really just like looking at the animals, but I also like being able to take them out and help them and feed them. I put water in a tarantula's cage. How many people can say that they've done that? The Ecology Center makes an instant connection with kids. To be outside is really a privilege these days, and here they're understanding why it's important to appreciate nature. It was really kind of fun for uh, city kids to get a uh, view of the canal, maybe see a deer, see some interesting birds. Here at the Ecology Center, there is something that is of interest for everyone that has come through here. Lots of kids have birthday parties here because they choose to, they ask to, and I think that we are teaching a younger generation about the importance of the environment and sustainability. You know, it makes people think about how we deal with the environment. That has to do with water issues, it has to do with trash disposition, it has to do with recycling, and uh, of course the natural world. And it's, uh, it, I think it's really important to keep that in people's consciousness. The Ecology Center is important to Evanston because it's a unique place. And I think it shows um, how close nature and urban environment can live together. It needs to be a continuum. It has to be part of all of our consciousness so that every person recognizes that he or she has the opportunity and the responsibility to participate in the stewardship of the entire community in which they live. The future of the Ecology Center, um, and really the future of the world, it's like recycling. You know, if everybody does a little bit of recycling, it's gonna make a huge difference. If somebody picks up a piece of trash, it's gonna make a huge difference. Um, supporting an animal, supporting the programming um, will make a difference to the center. There's a role here for you, and we encourage you to do, take a part in it yourself.